Welcome to the 2020 Fifth Grade Living History Exhibit. Your first stop is the Boston Tea Party. In 1773, Bostonians were upset with the monopoly on the tea market. Britain was taxed in the tea after the French and Indian War. The colonies were already buying smuggled tea while that was more expensive than the tea with the tax. In December 1773, rebels boarded three ships in Boston Harbor and dumped millions of dollars aboard the tea into the harbor. the harbor, banned town meetings, and sent more troops to the city. The American colonists were enraged. Listen carefully to the song. I'm just going to believe what Britain did to me. Made an act of tea. Made an act of tea. Made an act of tea. Granted, I'm a monopoly. In 773. Welcome to Women in War. Colonial Women. I'm a colonial woman. I stayed home and took care of the farm. I had learned these skills like planting crops. I took on extra work. Mary Draper. I'm Mary Draper. I used cloth and metal to make coats and bullets. I set up a table by the road to hand up food to choose and the trash bag. Nurse. I'm a colonial nurse. I took care of patients and helped the doctor. I only made two dollars a month. <coughs> wow. Spy. I'm a spy. I listened to British officers to hear their plans. I, they talked freely around me because they thought that I wasn't listening. I told the right people who won the war. Deborah Sampson. We are Deborah Sampson. We are women who disguised ourselves as men and enlisted in the colonial army. He fought in several battles and got shot twice. Our next station, Colonial Life. Life in the colonies. Making butter. Servant slaves or children would be in charge of making butter. The cream from a cow is planted by a tree. The cream would form its butter. Although, the cream, it took about 20 minutes for butter to form. The butter was placed in a butter mold and the extra cream called buttermilk was pressed out of the butter. Manners. Manners were very important in colonial times. Ladies would curtsy and boys would bow and remove their hats. If at a dance, a gentleman would ask the chaperone if the lady would dance. The chaperone would then tell the gentleman if it was okay to dance with the lady. Girls learned how to sew and They also learned how to make soap. Soap was made by combining any kind of fat with lime. The charcoal, then charcoal to black and then chocolate would be added. This creates soap. This is a very useful item in the colonial times because there were a lot of diseases to fix this going hard. Don't take my money if I don't have a say. No taxation.
nation without representation. Don't take my money if I don't have a say. Enjoy the next station weapons and battle tactics. And make sure you don't run into those lots of us. I bet the watch is right now. <laughs> taking over the hills around Boston in order to gain a tactical advantage. So the Americans secretly moved their troops onto Bunker and Breeze Hill. William Prescott instructed the men to dig ditches during the night. These were called a recount. The next day, when the British realized what had happened, they got ready to attack. Their commander, William Howell, led three charges up Breeze Hill. The Americans were running low on ammunition, so they were told... in the years 1777 to 1778. Fighting in, fighting in the winter was not common. They, most, if not everybody, camped during the winter. The conditions were horrible at Valley Forge. They had to deal with a cold, wet, and snowy winter. Everyone was always hungry, and soldiers did not have warm clothing. Some soldiers did not have shoes or had sandals. Some men didn't have shoes at all. There were few blankets. Disease and sickness spread quickly for two. Typhoid fever, pneumonia, and smallpox <coughs> survived mostly 2,000 men. Valley Forge was a very unsafe place in the winter. Doctors set broken bones and prescribed herbal medicine. Doctors performed surgeries. Their patients were awake. They did not have paid bills. <laughs> 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 followed behind armies and fixed broken weapons. The Continental Army and the British Army fought using similar weapons and similar tactics. The primary weapon used by both sides was the musket. The brown vest was the most popular type of musket. It had a smooth bore and was loaded through the muzzle. It weighed 10 pounds at a 46 inch long barrel. These guns were not accurate and could not reliably hit a target beyond 100 yards. It took a soldier 15 to 20 seconds to load the musket. That is only three to four shots per minute. Being able to reload and fire quickly was more important than aiming. More accurate long rifles were used to pick off enemy officers. Bayonets were attached to most muskets. They were 17 inch long blades which were attached to the end. They were used to charge and bore enemies. 
Indians helped Patriots during the war. Both sides used cannons. They were used to sink ships and destroy ports. <laughs> Soldiers would form rows of long lines. They approached the enemy within 50 yards. Each row would fire a volley, then reload. The first row would fire, then reload. Then the second row would fire. This was called linear tactics. After each side firing that number of volleys, one side would charge and the battle would turn to hand-to-hand -hand combat. 